Well, it is surely one of the most remarkable meetings that is recorded in the Bible. Uh, In Luke chapter 1, Mary goes to visit her relative Elizabeth, who is the mother of John the Baptist. And when you think about it, here's the meeting. You have an elderly post-menopausal woman who is six months pregnant meeting a very young pregnant woman who is a virgin. What kind of meeting is that? Well, in that meeting, there's a message that unlocks all of God's blessings. Stick around. Let's talk about that right now. When Mary arrives at Zacharias and Elizabeth's home, whom the angel had referenced when he announced to her that she was going to give birth to the Messiah, the Christ, she goes to visit Elizabeth. And Elizabeth has this greeting. We're told that the baby she's carrying, that we know is John the Baptist, uh, leaps uh, within her womb and reacts to being in the presence of the divine Christ child that Mary is then carrying. But she makes a statement that is really a key to unlock God's blessings in her lives. Let me read it to you right now. It's found in Luke chapter 1, all the way down in verse 45. This is Elizabeth speaking. And she said, And blessed is she who believed there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. There's going to be a blessing to this one, Mary, who believed that God would fulfill his promises to her. In essence, blessed are the believers. And this is what unlocks God's blessing in your life and mine, to just take God at his word and believe him. Well, where do we find what his blessings and promises are to us? Well, uh, let me just uh, ring up a little clue for you. It's right here in the word of God. And as we study it, as we learn it, we learn what he has to say. And then it is incumbent upon us that we just simply in faith trust in him that God will indeed keep his word. That's the unlocking mechanism of all the blessings. It's what unlocks our salvation through our belief in the finished work of Christ to die on the cross for our sins. It's what unlocks the blessings of all the blessings he wants to pour on us. He just expects us to accept and believe. Let this be a day that you experience blessing because you indeed are a believer. Hey, have you had a chance to test your Christmas IQ in our Christmas IQ quiz? If not, let me encourage you to follow the link that accompanies this video. Take a few minutes and enjoy, and maybe it'll point you in the right direction this Christmas season.